Hello and welcome to another video. So this time we are going on a motorcycle adventure up to the valley of Manang. So we are going through the Himalayas to the beautiful valley of Manang. This is day one and we are here at Kurintar at the moment. We just had a wonderful breakfast here at Himalayan Java and now it's time to head back on the road uh, towards Beshi Sahar. So if the weather permits we will go towards uh, Tal and that would be our first stop for the day but uh, let's see it has been cloudy and rainy for the past two days it's going to be an epic ride okay let's get going come come let's go The ride to Manak has been on our bucket list for far too long and we are more than excited for this adventurous journey towards the beautiful valley of Manak. The road section towards Bisisar is in a good condition. It's a scenic drive with Trisuli River by our side and the Mersangdi River on the right. It's a scenic riverside drive as we drive through the beautiful towns and alleyways and the highway towards Mana. As you can see, most of the road section has been blacked up. It's a wide road, beautiful road, open road and it's more than exciting. As we headed towards BC Sahar, we noticed a group of riders which caught our attention because all of these riders were riding 30, 40 year old classic bikes, Honda Axel, Yamaha DT and later on we came to know that they are riding towards Manang. Hats off to you guys. So we have now arrived at the town of Besisar. So this is the first stop in the itinerary. But since the weather was good, we continued our way towards Tal, alongside the Mersangdi River, right by our side.
As we drive towards Tal, we came across a tunnel. This is our very first time driving through a tunnel in Nepal. And this is the first and the only tunnel in Nepal at the moment. <laughs> okay, it's currently 2.30 in the evening. So we started out on this journey from Kathmandu at uh, 8 a.m. And uh, so far the road is pretty good. Uh, and uh, we also passed through a tunnel. Uh, there is a hydropower station in there. But anyhow, today we are planning for visiting, uh, going towards Tal in Lamzum. This location is called Ngadi in Lamzum. And we are having a short uh, refreshing water break. And as you can see, the weather, it's pretty cloudy, the forecast. Let's hope for the best. Let's hope the weather gets better. Otherwise, it's going to snow at Manang. Uh, it's another excitement then, right? So yeah, it's a beautiful journey so far. Let's go. First, let's have some water. After crossing the village of Ngadi, the road towards Manak gets difficult. It's totally off-road with bumpy roads, uneven terrain, and it's steep uphill and downhill. But nevertheless, the scenery, the beautiful countryside landscape, the waterfalls is so beautiful, it brings a joy of riding. The scenic countryside drive through the mountain road, the windy mountain road, leads us through beautiful picturesque villages. We cross through Jagat as we head towards Tal. After driving for more than 200 kilometers, we have our first view of the village of Tal. And it's our destination for today. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, nice room. Welcome to Tal. Yep. Okay, welcome to the village of Tal. So this is in road to Manang and uh, the current time is uh, 
5 p.m. So it was an adventurous journey today through the cliffs, uh, through the Himalayas, you know, the roots of the Himalayas. As you can see, we are surrounded by high peaks at the moment. So just a fact, uh, currently we are at an altitude of 1800 meters above sea level and we are in between the roots of the high Himalayas. Okay. So here we have the, you know, the Manaslu Rains and over here we have the Annapurna and the Lamzung Himal and it's a beautiful location. We have a very nice cozy room with attached bathroom and a nice place for parking for our motorcycle and we'll be staying here and yeah, it's been a fun drive today. In the evening, we head out towards a beautiful waterfall which is known as the Chahare Waterfall. Close up, close up. Oh, you like Orlani. Truly a very beautiful and a relaxing location where we spent the rest of the evening just looking at this majestic waterfall. Good morning, it's a cloudy morning today and it's a day two of our road trip to Manang. Today we are going to head up towards the beautiful village of Manang. So speaking of this village, this is the Tahal village. We are right on the banks of Marshangdi river. Uh, right there is the Marshangdi river. Uh, we are actually driving alongside this river. Okay. Just like uh, the Kaligandaki river in the Mustang region, uh, the Mershangdi river is our companion in the Manang valley. We have high mountains, but at the moment the clouds has covered it. Hopefully it will be cleared. Uh, let's hope the weather clears and we have a fantastic journey. Let's get started. I cannot leave my wife behind. Come on. It's a beautiful morning today. The overcast cloud has nearly cleared up, revealing the blue sky. Down below, we can see the village of Tal. It's going to be a fun and exciting journey today towards the beautiful village of Mana. And as you can see, the road is not in a good condition. So the road section from Tal to us Manang is purely off-road. Oh, 
हेलो हेलो मलाई हिजो इन्स्टाग्राम मा कोले कमेन्ट लेखे ए भाइ हो हेलो ल ओके देन ल आज यहाँ बसेको होइन होइन हामी के के छ होला क्लासिक बाइकर गैंग राइडिंग द ब्यूटिफुल यामहा डीटी एंड होंडा एक्सल बाइक towards mana It's a great pleasure meeting these guys but anyhow back on the road through some picturesque landscape in between massive cliffs we ride through some beautiful villages along the way we also notice a lot of trekkers this is a trekking season and this is one of the most popular trekking route the Annapurna circuit road We're going to take a little while enjoy our moment at this beautiful village. So we are at this uh, beautiful location called Danaki at an altitude of 2300 meters and we are being greeted by some dogs some little puppies. Good dog good dog. Hey So anyways just to let you know we are surrounded by high mountains this is a very nice beautiful location so if we take a look at the road condition you can see the the gradient right so it's very steep okay it's almost like this at some section and it's also very you know like loose gravel loose road so if you're coming on a motorcycle if you're driving on a motorcycle be sure to balance take it slow okay so just navigate your way and avoid the rocks big rocks and enjoy the scenery and enjoy the view Bye. all right so i have some uh, tea time now coffee time okay didi as always coconut biscuit eh <laughs> classic biker gang Yes. Come come welcome to Thame at an altitude of 2700 meters and here we have a nice little stupa So it's a little windy in here 
this is a very nice beautiful picturesque village anyways we are now climbing up the Himalayas and we are climbing up this cliff alongside the Mersengdi river Okay, so the time is uh, almost 12 and uh, 10 minutes drive from Same, we have reached at this uh, apple farmhouse where they produce local apples at this uh, scenic location, beautiful location. So we're gonna take our time here, a much needed rest, have some food, have some uh, nice apple juice. So let's get, let's get going, come on. Camera entry though, for you. Yes. More apple juice, huh? Cheers. Cheers, Oh, wait, there. Hello. After having our lunch, we headed towards the apple farm. The apple farm is the biggest apple farm in Nepal. We are guided towards a local winemaking facility to discover the process of making wines, which is crafted from a blend of homegrown apples handpicked from the apple farm at an elevation of about 3,000 meters. After enjoying a relaxing and a unique experience at the local apple farm, we continued our way up towards the beautiful valley of Manang through some treacherous mountainside road. As we climb up the steep dirt road towards Manang, we come to a picturesque location this is called Swargadwar or Heaven's Gate. And as we enter through Heaven's Gate, the road from here on gets even more exciting. As we drive alongside these massive Himalayas, we come to a beautiful location known as Upper Pisang. From here, we have a majestic panoramic views of the high Himalayas, the Annapurna Reeds.
So the current time is 2.15 in the afternoon and we are here at the Bob Marley Hotel. Basically the scenery was so beautiful that it captivated us and we lost track of our way. We went all the way up there, this is Upper Pisan. So we went up the uh, trekking trail on a motorcycle up those villages and we were actually lost. But anyhow, we are back on the road and uh, it's a fantastic beautiful place. So we're gonna take some time at the Bob Marley Hotel, have some nice coffee, tea, and then continue our way up towards Manang. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Oh, we <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Hello. Tea time at Bob Marley Hotel. As we drive through the beautiful majestic scenery, we have now entered the valley of Manang. The road gets more even now with no uphill and downhill descent. It's pure joy, straight open road towards the beautiful valley of Manang. After driving for more than 70 kilometers up the steep mountain road through some beautiful picturesque rural landscape, beautiful villages, we have now entered the valley of Manang. Welcome to the beautiful village of Manang. Thank you. Okay, this is the room. Oh, nice, beautiful, cozy room. With a dance bathroom. Nice. And we have a fantastic view of the mountains. <laughs> okay, so just had an amazing yak burger and it was amazing, it was really delicious. And now we are going to head up uh, and explore this Manang village. Current time is uh, 5.30 in the evening. And as you can see, this is the village. Beautiful. We have a beautiful weather today. So Manang is surrounded by high mountain. This is entirely the Annapurna range. In the far left, we have Annapurna 2 
and then this huge mountain this is Ganga Purna okay and the sun is setting and the other side of the Ganga Purna is Mustang Valley so it's a beautiful evening here beautiful these mountains are right next to us Manan, which lies at an elevation of around 3,550 meters, is a beautiful village located in the northern region of the massive Annapurna range. The arid landscape of Manan reminded us of Mustang, a barren desert with a touch of greenery. The culture and the lifestyle of the local Manangi people, on the other hand, is vibrant and colorful. As we explore this lively village, we notice the influence of Tibetan culture. Many residents are Tibetan origin and have preserved their unique customs traditions and language. Tibetan Buddhism is the predominant religion here in Manang. Manang boosts several ancient Buddhist monasteries that hold immense spiritual and cultural significance. Mesmerized by the charming beauty and the culture of Manang village, we made our way towards a local monastery where we spent the rest of the evening relaxing and enjoying the spiritual scenery that surrounds us. So we just had a wonderful breakfast at uh, the hotel and uh, it's a clear blue sky, beautiful day. So we are now heading up towards the glacial viewpoint. So as you can see, there's a glacial over there. So there's a nice viewpoint over here from where we can have a beautiful view of this glacier. Let's get going. So we just headed down the village of Manang and uh, we are now climbing up this uh, viewpoint. So you can see there is actually a trail in there that goes up that ridge. So we're going to go up that ridge towards the base of that glacial point and that is the viewpoint. As you can see, we are in these uh, fields on both sides. There are some horse grazing in there. Wow. Look at this. This is all sandstone. And there is uh, houses, ancient old houses over there. Manang is surreal. It's beautiful. Jagged peaks, you know. It's all crafted by the nature, as you can see, by the air, erosion. It's a very different landscape. Somehow it does remind us of Mustang, but Manang is very different than Mustang. Welcome to Manang. What a beautiful morning today is, with crystal clear blue sky, warm sunshine, and surrounded by a picturesque village landscape. A beautiful day for a third hike up towards the Gangapurna viewpoint.
as we hike up this beautiful trail alongside the ridge line, we are rewarded with a beautiful view of the majestic Himalayas and the alpine freshwater lake of Gangapurna down below. So we have been hiking for more than 30 minutes now. And as you can see, we have climbed a long way up. Uh, some of the sections are pretty steep, but up this uh, cliffside, this moraine. And uh, in the distance, we can see the meandering river. That's the Marchangdi River. It's truly beautiful. It's a very relaxing stroll. Wow. Okay, let's get going. Okay, welcome to the glacial viewpoint. So after an hour of hiking from Monang, uh, we have now reached the viewpoint. So from here we can see the glacier, the glacier that is flowing from the mountain, the Gangapurna mountain up. And this glacier melts into a river that forms the Gangapurna lake over there. You can see that. And in the far distance is the Marsangdi River. So there's a viewpoint over there, over there, uh, with a view of the village. And we can actually continue the trail up there towards uh, this forest, surrounded by high mountains. Wow, this is beautiful. If you are in Monang, don't miss out on the viewpoint. With the majestic panoramic view of the Annapurna mountain range, we are captivated by the true beauty of Manang. We had a wonderful and a relaxing time yeah. here at the viewpoint, and now 
it's time to head back down the same trail towards the alpine lake of Gangapurna. So, welcome to the lake of Gangapurna, the beautiful alpine lake. It's situated at an altitude of around 3,600 meters. And you can see the glacial over there, right from the Gangapurna mountain. It's actually the source of this uh, lake, this beautiful lake. The lake has a very beautiful turquoise color. It's actually changing the color with the flow of the wind, very relaxing. After a relaxing moment by the lakeside of the Gangapurna Lake, we headed towards a tea shop to have a much needed tea break. Snowman Cafe. The tea shop is located in a picturesque location right by the lakeside of Gangapurna. What a wonderful place to relax, take a moment and enjoy the beauty of the nature. Hello, Namaste Dai. Namaste. Dai, how are you? Tea house? Yes. Yes, I'm going to go to the house. Hello. 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 Gangapurna. Gangapurna Lake. लदाई, आमी लाई रारा, अनि डीडा चिया कर दिन्ना है, अनि उड़ा पानी पनी हम लदाई को कैमरा बन दाई मेरे इस जून देरे बाग रही सही, स्नोले पड़ी चिन्नु बाजा, कीजे सर, ओहो नाइस ला, इसमें बनी अब क्वालिटी ठाम अनुसार को क्वालिटी अनुसार हाई मो बसनी लो मो बसनी Mesmerized and awestruck by the true determination and passion of the hotel owner brother, we take a look at some of the images that he have captured of the majestic snow leopard. स्नो लेपार्ट को बच्चा ही बच्चा बन रहे ठीक है को ठीक है को ला तेरे राम रोज सत्ता में को वीडियोग्राफी वही हम लोग नेशनल जोग्राफी डिस्कवरी चैनल दोस्ते मलाई तेस्ते लाये तेरे पर नेता पहले इतनी सान और कैमरा लिखी इतना बेहरे जा वही ला ताल नो उन्हीं टाइम में तो ग्लासर सा नहीं ग्लासर मात्र ये पच्ची ग्लासर बिले रे ताल बने को ये हो रहा ओह 1952 में सही तो रात सर कर लो आह सो सर कर मानते इस पर जो उठे ताल बने तो सो ड्यूरिंग द 1952 दिस इज एक्चुअली अ ग्लेशियर द ग्लेशियर हैव रिट्रीटेड अप ड्यू तू ग्लोबल वार्मिंग एंड इट फॉर्म दिस गंगापुरना लेक सो दिस इज सीरियस टेक अ लुक एट दैट
What a beautiful and a relaxing day it has been. Enjoying a cup of warm tea by the beautiful lakeside of Gangapurna. It's truly relaxing and beautiful. And we spend the rest of the day by the lakeside of this beautiful lake. In the evening, we headed towards a viewpoint from where we have a majestic view of the Annapurna mountain range. Good morning. So, day four of our Manang adventure. And uh, today, we are heading to the Milarepa cave. As you can see, the weather, it has cleared up. Yesterday, there was snowfall. Uh, the weather has uh, changed and we have some blue sky, but uh, there is snow on the way. So yeah, let's get started. So first of all, let's, let's start this bike. It's very cold. It is a beautiful day today with clear blue sky and warm sunshine. There are many activities and places to explore in Manang village and one of the itinerary is the Milarepa cave. It's a day hike from the village of Manang and uh, where we will be exploring the cave where Yogi Milarepa meditated. It's up those mountain cliff beneath Mount Annapurna 3. So it's going to be a fun day today. So let's get started. Okay, so the current time is 8 and uh, we have now reached uh, the Baraka village. It's about 25 minutes hike from uh, the village of Manang, but if you take a motorcycle, it's just a 5 minutes. And we are going to leave the motorcycle at hotel, Buddha Hotel, and we are actually waiting for a guide. It's always uh, a good idea to hire a local guide when exploring unknown territories. Right. So we are going to the Milarepa cave, which should be somewhere in there, about uh, 4,000 meters above sea level. So you can see there's a lot of snow cover mountain. This is because uh, yesterday there was some good amount of snowfall. And uh, if we take a look at the backside, we can actually see the village of Braka. Hello. This is the village of Braka. Uh, we can actually see it much better from here, I guess. Uh, later on, we will be coming to this village to explore the ancient Gumba. Actually, there is a monastery over there. A very old monastery. So we'll be exploring this uh, old village of Raka. Anyways, now it's time to wait for our guide. Uh, let's get started. We are actually waiting for the guide and we have our guide right here, right? Hello. Uh, Nan? 
Karma Bahadur. Karma Bahadur. So he will be our local guide for exploring the Milarepa cave. And the la. La Zamoita. Crossing the suspension bridge over the Marshangdi River, we begin our hike towards the Milarepa cave. It is a beautiful hike today as we climb up the mountain alongside the ridge line and down below we can see the village of Braka. It's a uphill hike from the village down below towards the cave. It's right at the base of these mountains at the base of Annapurna tree. These are like little birds' footprint. Adam, Adam. They are showing us the direction. So our guide brother along the way gathered some local incense leaves and we're going to offer some incense leaf uh, alongside this uh, stupa located at this pristine forest. This is really a holy site. Okay. It's a pine. Incense pine. So we just uh, burned some incense at the stupa, the holy location. So this is more than halfway up. We have already climbed. Now about 45, one hour left. And we are climbing up this, I would say a holy forest, spiritual forest, surrounded by big old pine trees, uh, walking on the snow carpet. Okay, so we need to walk slowly, black ice along the way. <laughs> 
So the trail now climbs up the forest, the beautiful alpine forest. And speaking of the altitude, we are currently at around 3,750 meters. So currently we are at an altitude of around 3,900 meters and uh, this is the trail. As you can see, there's massive cliff beneath these high mountains. Down there is the Manang Valley and uh, you can see some prayer flags in there and that is the spot where monks uh, come to meditate. So this is a very spiritual location. And taking a look at here, you can see that's the, that's the peak of Annapurna tree. And there is actually a glacier there on the top. You can see the trail goes up this cliff. You can also see some prayer flags up there. And behind those cliffs is the cave of Milarepa, where Lord Milarepa meditated. So thanks to our informative guide here, we came to know that this, this plant is called Pozpatra. Yeah. Pozpatra, meaning uh, there are actually these, you know, the bark, you know, off of the bark, it's, it's exactly like plastic. You can see, if you take a look at it, it's just like plastic. You can also see some transparency in there. So this is used for making, making Nepali Kagas, you know? okay. Nepali paper. So used for making Nepali paper where the scriptures are written, Buddhist scripture. So yeah, this is really surreal, right? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, uh, yes, so this is like a plastic paper. And you can see all these trees are postpatra trees. As we continue the hike, the trail becomes steeper and more challenging with snow-covered rocky terrains. However, the view that surrounds us is breathtaking. It is a surreal landscape with high snow-capped mountains towering above us. It's truly beautiful.
after a steep uphill climb, hiking for more than 5 kilometers up from the village of Braca, we notice a monastery located in an isolated and a peaceful location on the laps of Mount Annapurna 3. From this location, we have our first view of the sacred cave. The Milarepa cave and monastery is located on a jaw-dropping cliff where the 11th century Tibetan Mahasiddha Guru Milarepa meditated. Good afternoon. So it's uh, 11 in the morning. Uh, we've been hiking for almost three hours now. So we have reached this holy site, the spiritual location. As you can see, we have the Gumba, Milarepa Gumba. And in the cliff, you can see the actual place where Lord Milarepa meditated. Uh, there is a cave over there. And then there is another cave over there. And there is also a bow that's stuck on the cliff. Okay. Now, I just had a nice conversation with a monk here who is meditating, isolated meditation in this cliff. And he said that uh, Milarepa is a great yogi. So he traveled here from Tibet to meditate. So once upon a time, a hunter came to this valley uh, hunting a deer, came after deer. He also had a dog. And then he saw a yogi meditating at this high mountain cliff. So he went to investigate and uh, Milarepa, he was singing a song. He was singing a song and all of a sudden the deer and the dog stayed right behind the hunter listening to the song. Marveled by this, the hunter actually you know, went towards the yogi and he thought like actually is he actually a yogi? He's a, he knows black magic. Is, is he really a yogi? So he was really, you know, at first he was quite angry at it because he was actually hunting, right? So he went towards the yogi and uh, aimed the bow towards the yogi to shoot at him. But somehow the bow malfunctioned. It didn't work. It didn't work. Then the hunter actually thought, right, this guy should have some great power. And he went to investigate these caves, as you can see. And he came to know that he was actually meditating here. And he regretted the decision of aiming at yogi. So he went towards the Milarepa, great yogi, and bowed at him, offering him the bow like this, so as to promise, like he is never going to hunt again, never going to hunt. And it's that, that, that bow, actually, it's still in the cliff, that wooden bow. Supernatural power is still in there. Uh, we're going to go over there and take a look at it, but that's the story. And what about the hunter? He became a yogi as well, a great disciple and follower of Milarepa. So that's the story behind the great yogi. And we are at this beautiful location. We are really blessed to be here.
Okay, so the time is almost 12. We have climbed up some treacherous uh, path. Uh, and uh, thanks to our guide, he made our way. And we are now here at this uh, location where this is the house of Milarepa. It says that he has stayed over here and he threw the hunter's bow from here towards the cliff. And that, hunt, that bow is still stuck in the cliff. You know, it's like 12, almost thousands of years old. It's up there. But anyhow, you can see we are at the base of Annapurna tree mountain. The glacial glacier is like right there. And this is a surreal location. This is like a, I would say, Sangrila. Now, if somebody is searching for the meaning of the word Sangrila, this is Sangrila, truly a spiritual, beautiful place. If you are visiting Manang, be sure to come to Milarepa Cave and don't forget a guide. After spending some time exploring the cave and the surrounding region, we retraced our steps back to the Vraka village, where we head up towards a hotel owned by our guide brother for a much needed lunch. Seabok turn juice. Cheers. Oh, the kaisuke. Yeah, let's take it, Sunny. Hello, Mummy. Hello. Hello. Thank you, Bada. You eat food like this. No, no. Meat to eat. Hello. Wow, Agbar is so nice. After having our lunch, we headed towards the village of Braka, an ancient settlement located at an altitude of 3,475 meters. As we explore this unique village, we experience tranquil ambience, a traditional lifestyle of the Manangi people. One of the main attractions of Braga village is the Braga Monastery, also known as the Braga Gompa. The 600-year-old Braga Gompa holds immense religious and cultural significance in this region. The monastery features centuries-old exquisite architecture, intricate woodwork, and impressive collection of religious artifacts.
truly beautiful. We are at this uh, Braca village, an ancient village, and we are on the monastery, the Braca monastery, one of the oldest monastery in Nepal, ancient monastery. And it's been a very adventurous journey coming all the way from Kathmandu on a motorcycle. It has been a thrilling experience and uh, we are like blown away by the beauty. Take a look at it. We're surrounded by high mountains, ancient villages. And uh, I would like to thank our guide brother, Mr. Karma Bahadur Gurung for taking us thank up you. the high uh, mountains, uh, the place where Yogi Milarepa has meditated. Right? Thank you so much. And anyone who is visiting Manang, please do visit and explore the surrounding, the Milarepa cave, the Gangapurna lake, the glacier viewpoint, ice lake, so many places to explore in this beautiful location. And it's always great to have a local guide to be by your side. And uh, I will just link his name and his uh, contact details on the description down below. So be sure to check it out. And with that being said, I'd like to conclude this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And with that being said, thank you. Namaste. Tashi dele. Jojolopa. Bye bye. Happy only. Happy only. Happy only. No, I like it now. What's the cue? You like this or like me? Lay out of the camera beauty. Thank you. Anyways, happy only. Happy only.